hello and welcome to Marcella's Purse. Today's project is this clam shape uh, makeup bag. I put the tassel there as well and it opens up all the way from corner from side to side but it has these uh, little panels on each side so it keeps a boxy shape inside so your uh, items don't come off. It's perfect as a makeup bag or toiletry bag and it's quite easy, simple to make. It's, um, the technique is a bit like our magic pouch, the cube shaped pouch we made recently. So as you can see as well, it has two little tabs on each end. I hope you like it and keep watching. We will start by making a pattern and I have here a rectangle, a piece of paper which measures from here to there 12 inches and 6 inches from top to bottom. So 12 and 6. And as you see here at the bottom and the bottom corners I drew a square and this line is 2 inches and this one is 2 inches, so it's a 2 inch square. 2, 2, 2 and 2. Then I am just going to fold the paper in half like so, so you can see a square there. And I'm taking a ruler and I am, I am measuring from this point there to this point. So if I put my ruler like so, I can see from that point to this corner here is six and a quarter inches. So I am making a mark and then I am going to move my ruler. I already did some markings. I'm just lifting this side of the ruler. I am still with six and a quarter inches and I do another mark. I am drawing, making the marks for my circle, my circular shape. A bit higher here and still six and a quarter inches. Keep marking and keeping the six and a quarter inches mark there all the way up. Very much like a compass. Now when we get towards the top You will see that we're going to be a bit short, but that doesn't matter. We will sort it out. So I am taking my pencil and I'm going to join those marks. And when I get here, I will just round it so the shape continues. Now I am going to take my scissors and I am going to cut the shape. And I am also going to cut the squares. So we have our pattern. I am going to fold this fabric. This pattern is already including the seam allowance which is a quarter of an inch. So you just need a piece of fabric big enough to fit this pattern. Something like that. So if you just uh, Draw the pattern on the fabric. I shall put a couple of pins so my fabric doesn't move. I will draw the pattern. So this bottom line is touching the fold of the fabric. Thank you. 
so here is my pattern so all I have to do now is to cut the shape right so here is the whole piece now I am going to uh, cut the interfacing and I'm using the fusible foam this one uh, this time I got uh, the one that is fusible on, on only one side so fusible foam for the main fabric you can use fusible fleece if you prefer but I want it a bit sturdier than that so I'm using the foam and when I cut a piece of foam I will cut it a little bit smaller all around so that when I put the piece together I don't have too much bulk and I will cut uh, I will use this pattern to cut the fabric for the lining as well right here is my interfacing the stabilizer so I'm just going to uh, iron it in place and any leftovers I always save them because sometimes you need just a little piece perhaps to secure a magnetic snap or, uh, or a button so it's worth keeping them so I'm just going to trim this off and as you see I cut it a little bit smaller than the fabric so when I do the seam I don't have too much bulk around the edges uh, one more thing I want to mention if uh, if you want to make this in a different size one thing is important to keep in mind if you just a measurement make sure that this uh, line this side measures the same as this one because eventually we will put the fabric together like so and these two pieces have to match so if this measures two this has to measure two as well so I shall carry on uh, putting the stabilizer and preparing the lining for this I have now my pieces ready this is my main fabric with the stabilizer and my lining fabric here so now we are going to attach the zipper I recommend you to use a zipper longer than the round shape from here to here uh, because it will be easier to, to sew on and also uh, you will not be having to separate the zipper as we did before with our magic cube pouch so if you use a longer zipper uh, than what is needed it will be much easier for you to work with it right I'm going to take the zipper and I will put the teeth on top of the right side of my main fabric I am going to leave it longer here and oh one thing I don't want to forget to have the zipper bend around easily I'm just going to make some little snips every so often like so right do something little trims I did so the teeth on top of the right side of the main fabric and I'm taking my lining fabric and I'm putting the right side of the fabric on top there so as we do whenever we do a pouch with a zipper we're sandwiching the zipper between both fabrics making sure that the edges all match and in well well aligned I have all secured and I will go and uh, use the zipper foot to stitch from corner to corner and here we are I shall uh, 
do some snips on the fabric as well so it doesn't get too bulky around the round shape and um, I will turn it around so that I have the right side out and I will top stitch around here from here to the end and make sure this is nice and flat as you see the fabric is pulling so I need to do more little snips around here I will put a couple of pins so this is nice and flat and I will do the stitching if I open the zipper it will be easier so that I catch the lining fabric uh, properly without folding it so I will do to the sewing machine and I'll be back so here's the top stitch and what I have to do now is do the same on the other side so if I put this like so I shall put the zipper again the teeth on top of the right side of the fabric sandwich with the with the lining so as you see I will be working on the wrong side of the fabric of both fabrics so it is important that when we do that we make sure that we have the the zipper tape nice and straight so I will do on this side exactly what I did on this other side this with the zipper so I have done the top stitch on both sides and I'm going to close the zipper a little bit there and I am going to sew across so that the slider doesn't escape just a few stitches there so the stitches there will prevent the slider to escape I can now cut the excess of the zipper on this side and I'm going to put this bringing the wrong side out and we're going to put this flat like so so put the pin here and another one there to keep it in place but there's something I am forgetting and it is the two tabs to, uh, to put at the end of the zipper so I have here the pieces of fabric which I folded in half lengthwise and each half lengthwise as well towards the middle so I can fold like so and I'll very quickly go to the sewing machine and stitch stitch here and here I will do the same with this other one okay I have my two little tabs here so as I was saying earlier we have to align this side to this side here so to do that I am going to take one of the little flaps tabs folding it in half so that the raw edges are pointing up and I am going to put it there between the zipper and the fabric we have to make sure that uh, this is uh, well aligned that all the raw edges are touching nice and flat so I shall, I shall sew across here 
and I will be sewing over the zipper so I have to do it very gently and at the same time I will be catching the, the tab underneath okay here it is I think that when I put the zipper there I I went um, off center a bit that's why it looks a bit wobbly but everything is in line so I'm just going to cut the excess of the zipper so I'll turn it around so you can see so that's all right okay now we have to do the other side I'm just going to pull the zipper up a bit Oop, too much because again we still have to do it on the wrong side of the fabric and in the same way we did before we have to match these sides we cannot close the zipper fully because uh, we won't be able to turn the bag right side out so I'm going to pin the sides here it's better if you put the fabric on the table flat like this And we have the other tab here which I will fold in the same way and I will place underneath the teeth of the zipper like we did before and like we did before I am going to the sewing machine and I am going to sew across here making sure making sure that I catch the the tab in the right place just underneath the zipper like so okay right the next the next thing to do is to do the size uh, side panels so we have two pieces of fabric that we just fold with the right side together we just fold so we can see the wrong side and we stitch on this side and on this side so I have one ready here so that's the right side and I stitch on the shorter sides like you see this is rectangle so you fold it like this so this width has to be the same width as this the measurements I'm going to be giving you are the the ones including the seam allowance I'm just going to nip those corners there This is also something that we did before with our magic pouch or cube pouch. So we can um, uh, iron this flat as well. So it's nice and neat. I shall finger press it for the moment. And what we have to do is to go not where the zipper is but on the other side and put the raw edges like so so if you see this uh, seam starts where it meets the, the, the beginning of this stitching here so you have the perfect width there so what we have to do is to uh, sew it in place I am going to the sewing machine and I am going to sew this across with the uh, half an inch seam allowance sorry quarter of an inch seam allowance so basically I will be stitching on top of that stitch that I did earlier and I will be back okay so this is the flap and now we're going to make it 
come over like this, put it flat, tie it well and pin it and we will again do some more stitching. We will stitch again along here. If you can fill with the fingers the stitching below that will be great because we need to hide those row edges. So something like we did here and along. So here, here it is. So all the edges are hidden now. And I'm just going to close this a little bit more so you can see the shape of the pouch. We're going to do some hand stitching by pulling this up like so following the the sides here like this so this is this is what the pouch is going to be looking like so what we have to do next is to hand stitch this side here and this side here with a, just a blind stitch You can see now that after I have stitched this, uh, we have a proper uh, opening there, a proper wall. So what I have to do now is just do the other side. It will only take me a moment, I think. And I have finished with those side panels. There they are. So they create a nice uh, little wall there to hold the, the bag in shape. So we'll just close it. And there we are. And as usual, as I always say, you could modify, uh, accessorize with tassels or perhaps a, a gold metal zipper instead using different kind of fabrics. I hope uh, once again that you have liked this tutorial and um, I'm looking forward to your comments. Don't forget to subscribe, share and comment and thank you very much for being here. I will see you soon. Bye!